right, Trigos? What's happening? So today is game day, and not only that, it's the FA Cup. Now, everyone loves the magic of the cup, and this is where you get your giant killers. Lincoln City was the giant killers last time round. Could Barnet be that team and knock out one of the ex-premiership champions? We're off to Ewood Park. It's Blackburn Rovers v Barnet. Now, only six teams have won the premiership, and Blackburn are one of them back in the season 94-95. Fast forward 22 years, and Blackburn now sit in League One and have a chicken shop owner as their chairman. You could kind of say that this is the battle with the chicken shops. You've got a pecking order. You've got Venkies. Fight! Venkies took over in 2010 when Blackburn was still in the premiership. And instead of taking their club forward, they have actually gone backwards. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Just getting to the football. Noes! So Blackburn finished 22nd last season in the championship, being relegated on goal difference by two goals. Played 46, won 12, drew 15, lost 19, scored 53, conceded 65, that's a goal minus 12, and they finished on 51 points. The Blackburn currently sit 6 in League 1, and their last 5 games have been 1 win, 1 loss, 3 draws. Tony Mulberry has been in charge of Rovers since February this year. He's been in charge of 34 games, winning 14, drawing 11, losing 9. And that's a win percentage of 41.18. And that to date is his best win percentage as a manager in English football. His best is 51.11 with Celtic. Now let's be honest. Scottish football, you can't really foul, can you? Unless you lose 4 0 away to St Mirren and then get sacked the next day. Hey, Tony. Now, Blackburn's danger winner selected could be Bradley Dack, who has four goals in 14. Dominic Samuel, who's got four goals, one assist in 13. Charlie Mulgrew, who has three goals, two assists in 14. And Harry Chapman, who leads the way with most assists, three and one goal in 12. Blackburn still have Danny Graham, who got 12 goals last season, with four assists in 35 games. He currently sits with two goals, two assists in 12 so far this season. Now, the last time Barnett played Blackburn was never. Another team team that we've never played before so it's record breaking again people so Blackburn and Blackburn fans you're in for a real treat when you turn up against us I tell ya we haven't won an 11 but sod it eh it's the magic of the cup anything can happen could Barnet do the unthinkable and beat one of the few ex-premiership champions you live in hope team news on its way team's in and I'm guessing it's the 4-2-3-1 so Craig Ross is in goal back four I'm guessing of the Tondra at left back Valetti at right back Santos and Clough in the centres centre mid Jack Taylor and Ryan Watson number 10 Campbell Rice well it's, it's a mixture between Akinola Nichols Akpar Akpro who's on the attacking flanks and who's up front. <laughs>
change on that team and Cam Rice has now been pulled and Von Gook has gone in. I'm a bit concerned regarding Ryan Watson, the right back, just because I've never seen him there. This could be a stroke of genius or it's going to be suicide. I feel sorry for Harry Taylor knowing that he hasn't really done anything wrong to kind of be dropped. He looks pissed off and I feel for him. Come on boys, the warm-up's done, they're about to come out. Can we try and have a performance? Ten minutes in, it's still nil-nil. Danger attack by Blackburn on the seventh minute. Ball whipped into the back post. Luckily, they didn't get on the end of it, and we got away with that. We just had a shot deflection. How that didn't go in, I don't know. We managed to clear a lines on a corner, though. But other than that, it's been pretty even. So let's keep it up, Barnett. Come on. Go on, Jack! Yes! Get in there! 31 minutes in, and it's Blackburn nil, Barnett one. A mix-up in the middle there of Blackburn players. Jack got onto the... <laughs> Jack got onto the mix-up of it, went through, threaded it to the centre of Akinola, he slotted it in, 1-0 Barnet. come on! 35 played and it's been a lively last 10. Blackburn again lost the ball in midfield, we've counter-attacked, Marrow all the time in the world and he's just rushed his shot, he had players either side of him, still 1-0 at the moment. So it's half time, it's Blackburn, Rovers, nil, Barnet, 1. Wow, absolutely, wow, I'm in shock with not only the score, how we have played today compared to how it was last week. First 20 minutes, it was pretty much even. Blackburn had a few more deadly attacks, but didn't come of anything. And then we just switched it on, we just switched gears. It was because Blackburn couldn't break us down. They've kind of stopped a little bit. Pass has been brilliant, it's been spot on. And we're just knocking it around them like they weren't even there. A mistake by Blackburn. We've countered attack and we've gone on and scored from it. And we nearly done it again after that. Let's just keep this up, boys. This is a very good performance. Very impressed. Come on, Barnett. Keep working hard. Massive 45 minutes now. Do not think that this game is over. Do not fall asleep. We have rid of luck a little bit like we always do as Barnet, but we'll take it all day long. Second half's about to start. If they don't break us down after the first 10, 15, I can see their fans getting on the back of them and things can turn nasty. And just like that, Blackburn have had about four corners, all one after the other. We were lucky to clear our lines there. Still 1-0 Barnet. I don't get why Marrow, the smallest man on the pitch, is marking pretty much Blackburn's tallest player. I don't care Marrow can jump 500 foot in the air. He got beat twice. Sort it out, Barnett. About 10 minutes in, it's pretty much been all Blackburn. They are throwing the kitchen sink at us. They've just had a free chance. No one marking him. He's knocked it over the bar. This could be dangerous if we do not get a second goal. 63 minutes in, Blackburn Rovers won, Barnet won. Kind of was coming, the amount of attacks they've had. And straight from the kickoff, we've lost possession. They've gone on the attack. Come on, Barnet, don't undo all the good work you've done in the first half. 20 minutes to go, Blackburn to Barnet one. Waiting again too long to make changes. Akinola picked up an injury. 20 minutes into this game, he still was struggling, and we wait until we're behind to make changes yet again. Poor, absolute poor. Great first half, shocking second half. 10 minutes to go, you're losing 2-1, so instead of trying to change it and put two strikers up top, you keep it the same, and you go 3-1 down. Blackburn, three, Barnet, one. So it's on the missed times they jump. I don't know how you do that. They just ran on and slotted it bottom corner. There goes the FA Cup. Pretty much the last kick of the game. Akpar Akpar has a shot, just gone wide. For that, Benji puts in a low cross. No one had a back post, but Blackburn looked dangerous every time they went forward. To be honest with you, they deserve this win. So the game finished, Blackburn Rovers 3, Barnet 1. Let's be honest, Barnet fans, did any of us expect to win this game? With our recent form, the way we've been playing, the way that the players are arguing with each other, they're arguing with the management team. Speaking to a couple of Barnet fans, we wasn't even confident we were going to score. But in the first half, I thought it was pretty even for the first 20 minutes. Then we pounced on a mistake by Blackburn and we scored from it and we looked all right after that. Then it was electric for like 10 minutes after that from both teams. And we've gone in at half-time 1-0 up. 
very impressed. It's a much better performance and improvement on what things have happened in recent weeks. So it was nice and refreshing to see that, that we know we can play football. And even with loads of first team players out injured, the players on the pitch can still do a job for us. But then the second half comes and that's when it goes to shit again. The subs was wrong again and we left it far too late again. The second Akinola went down injured, instead of telling him to play on, run it off, we should have went, right, you're coming off, Harry Taylor, you're coming on. So you put Harry Taylor at right back, you put Watson back in midfield, you put Valetti from centre mid onto the wing, you either put Akpar Akpro up front or you put Nichols up front. They was dancing for our midfield in that second half far too much. We needed to close that down. Bova came on and was about as affected as me eating a salad. We are now out of all cup competitions. We're sitting just above the relegation zone. No winning 12 now. Next game, home to Colchester United. Jack Taylor had a brilliant game and again, Craig Ross, if he wasn't in goal, how many goals would we be conceding? To be honest with you, I, I think he's been our best player all season so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. Share this video with all your friends. So until next time,